September 15th. And Jason and I are set up on this windy morning down at the River Bottom Farm. It was raining pretty good this morning until about 7, so we waited in the truck. Until that slowed down and then we slipped in. We have 50 mile, mile per hour gusts for today, west northwest. It's uh, pretty ridiculous. We're back in the pinch, we're in the prodigy set, except with the high winds due to some safety concerns. We're in the, the lower set, so we're just about 12, 14 feet off the ground. We've seen quite a few does this morning. Most of them were, were running back into the peninsula. Um, right as we were getting the camera set up in the stand. One group looked like it was being chased by bucks and shortly thereafter we had uh, that baby crabs, that young crab called Tim we've uh, filmed a few times, he's a three year old. And then we had that mature six by five come by at 10 yards. We also just had a couple younger bucks cruise by the edge of the grass over there on the river. I never know how the deer are gonna move in these high wind conditions, but it's November 15th and you never know. So with my limited days off from work now, uh, I like to come sit regardless of the conditions. So it's supposed to stay super windy all day. after 10 o'clock and we haven't seen a deer since uh, that last interview. It's been about two and a half hours or so. I got to work tomorrow and so per the usual um, we're going to pack up and head back closer to home. I'm going to hunt my home farm tonight. I did get a picture of Ali a couple mornings ago so he is still alive and we'll go make a sit for him and uh, see if we have any luck over there. made the switch we're moved over to my home farm we're in here after Ali this afternoon the wind is still whipping uh, gust up to 50 and we've gotten in this uh, redneck blind on this corn plot down by the creek the wind should be a little bit less down in the bottom but it's still really gusty that's one situation where these redneck blinds are really nice you know with these real gusty winds you end up getting swirling winds it won't stay true and so we can kind of bottle up our scent in here and then it's uh, nice for us to get out of the wind we sat in the wind all morning and it's pretty brutal so um ali you know he finally showed back up a couple mornings ago i got one single picture of him on the cutty link system uh, just a few hundred yards from here coming into the farm last year he did not spend a lot of time on this farm in the rut he showed up post rut uh, on the food sources and he ended up shedding one of his antlers here and then I had him this summer so I was kind of hoping he would stick around but it wasn't too surprising when he disappeared mid-October it was actually early October October 7th and I've been running cameras pretty hard but just got his first uh, picture there after you know five weeks or so I'm excited to see that he's still alive I don't know if we have a great chance at him tonight but you never know in the middle of the Locked down here, he's probably with a doe. Hopefully he's with one right here in this bedding area and he'll work out to this food plot tonight. My, the better chances I'll have with him is gonna be, you know, a post rut on the food sources, but uh, you know, he was here recently, so we'll see.
we're down to our last 20 minutes and the deer activity is really starting to pick up. Uh, all of the cut cornfields that we can see, the deer are starting to pile out. We've got three or four does behind us. We've got three or four does on this end. We have uh, two pretty good looking bucks. They both look like four year olds that have uh, worked out of the cedar thicket onto this hillside. Uh, both deer I have pictures of. Um, nice looking bucks. Earlier in the afternoon, we had a small buck chasing doe around the bedding area. We haven't had any deer come into the food plot, which isn't too surprising since we combined, you know, 70 acres of corn not that long ago. There's a lot of food spread out and there's not much making them need to come right here. The wind's starting to die down and all in all is an enjoyable sit. I'm uh, basically out of vacation days here for the rest of November. I've got uh, one day next week that I'll probably get out and then I'll be doing uh, targeting the weekend and the Thanksgiving holiday, I'll make some hunts. I'm gonna stick after him on the river farm, Dak or Marino, and then uh, Ali showed up down here, as I mentioned earlier, got that one picture of him, and so I've got the cameras rolling, and if he moves in at all in one of these food sources towards the end of the month, I'm gonna get in after him.